Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A lot of you recently saw videos about the House of the Dead remake on PC getting a light gun patch from the Mystery Wizard that allowed one player light gun support. We've been eagerly waiting an update to that patch to allow two light guns, and now we have it. Now when you get this patch, all you have to do is open the RAR file and extract the files into your House of the Dead root folder. This works whether you had the original patch or not. Okay, once you have the patch applied, go ahead and open the game for the first time. And then what you're going to want to do is press the F1 key on your keyboard. And that's going to bring up a new Mystery Wizard light gun menu, where you can see that the light gun patch is already applied, but you're going to have to assign your guns. So go ahead and click on Player 1 light gun, and you're going to see a pop-up saying Pull Trigger on Player 1 light gun. So go ahead and do that and then do the same for player two. Click on assign player two light gun. You'll see the pop-up message. Go ahead and pull the trigger and you are set. Now this light gun uh, menu does say that anytime you make a change, you're gonna wanna go ahead and restart the game. So even if you're just assigning your light guns just for good measure, go ahead and just restart the game here and you won't have to map those light guns again. Now, like the Mr. Wizard says in the readme, don't be a Brad D. Make sure you assign your guns with the F1 menu before you start trying to play. While the original patch that he made for this game was plug and play because it still used the regular mouse, this game, he completely rewrote it and it actually breaks the mouse mode. So you need to tell it what your guns are, both for player one and for player two, before this is going to work. And once you're restarted, you can go ahead and start a new campaign. Now it's very important that you change multiplayer mode to cooperative and that gets that second player automatically started. Then it's start new game and play. Huge thanks to the Mystery Wizard for getting this one working. This may have been one of his most difficult hacks yet, but it works fantastically. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to the patch in the video description below. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and let me know, and I hope you enjoy it.